Hi, this is Mrs. Knopf, and today we are going to continue in our method book with line 42, Saints Go Marching In. And as always, I'm going to point out what I really like about this book. On every page or every other page, there is a fingering chart or slide position chart at the top that is dedicated to just the notes on those pages. So let's check that out. So first we have our fourth space G in fourth position. So remember that's going to be the top of your slide, your outer slide, just about even with the bell. And then we have our fourth line F in first position, followed by our third space E or E flat in this case. Um, there's no flat here, but it is marked as E flat. That is third position, so the bar on the outer slide is going to be about even with the bell. You just have to use your ears. Then we have our third line D, which is fourth position, just like the G. So you have to adjust your airspeed and your embouchure to make a difference between those two pitches. Then we have our second space C. That's about full arm's length in sixth position. And that is um, on the second space, of course. And finally, we have our second line, B flat, that is in first position. And just like the G and the D, you need to have your airspeed and your embouchure set to make a difference between the B flat and the F. So now we're going to scroll a little bit and look at what we have in our music. So we start with our bass clef. Then we have a key signature. We have two flats. This tells us that all Bs are flat. And the second one tells us that all Es are flat. And we are in the key of B flat. Then we have our time signature. We are in 4-4 time. There are four beats in every measure. And then the whole note also gets four beats. So let's break that down. We have whole notes that get four beats. Half of a whole is a half and half of four is two. So half notes get two beats and that's going to be important in just a minute. Half of a half is a quarter, so half of two is one. The quarter notes get one beat each. So as we go through, we need to look at some other things. First of all, we have dotted half notes. With a dotted half note, we are adding half of the note's value to it. That's what the dot does. So if we remember that a half note gets two beats, half of two is one. And so we add one more beat, we get three beats for a dotted half note. Something else to consider. We have these curved lines called ties, and that is like a musical plus sign. When we have a tie, we have them connecting two or more notes of the same pitch, and we are going to take this whole note of four beats, add it to the quarter note it's tied to of one beat, and we hold the note for five beats. So this is how we're able to hold a note longer than the measure that can hold it. So it happens here. We have the same thing here, both on F. On the second line, we have it on a C. And then down here on the third line, we have a dotted half note that gets three beats tied over the bar line to a quarter note. So we're gonna hold this note for a total of four beats. So we're gonna go through, we're gonna look for patterns and we are going to um, see how we get through this. So we're gonna start off, we have a quarter rest on beat one, then we come in on beat two First position, B flat, out to fourth, D, E flat in third, and then we come up to F in first, and we have that pattern three times before we do something different. That happens three times. Here's the first time. Here's the second time. And then here is the third time, and we go to the second line we get to these, the F, and we skip from line to line. F, D, B flat, D, C. And we'll hold that C for five counts. Breathe on the quarter rest 
and then we continue. D, C, B flat. So now we're on the third line. Another B flat. D, F, 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 E flat. Hold that for four counts. Breathe on beat two. D, E flat, F. This is very similar to line two. D, B flat, but here's where it's different. C is in six, B flat. And we hold that whole note in the first ending for four counts. So now we have this first ending and a repeat sign. Then we have a second ending. What this tells you to do is the first time through, you play all the way to this measure here. And then there's a repeat sign. So you go all the way back to the beginning, play all of it again until you get here. On the second time, skip that first ending, take the second ending. So it'll basically be the same thing twice. Generally, a first and second ending will have something slightly different from each other, but in this case, it doesn't. I am going to start my metronome. It's at 108 beats per minute. Make sure when you play, start with a t sound. Tongue each note very clearly and move your slide at the same time that you tongue so you don't get any glitches. So I hope you can play along and here we go. One, two, one, two, ready and... <laughs> And that's it for line 42, Saints Go Marching In on the trombone. I hope this has been helpful, and we'll see you next time.